Hello life adventurers and welcome to Jacksonville Beach. We got into Jacksonville Beach tonight and we figured we might as well enjoy the beach for a little bit of time that we had before the sun went down. So on the beach you can see they have some sea turtle nests and they're nice and protected so that's always good. And we're just gonna enjoy the sunset here tonight. Uh, we decided to go get breakfast from a place and eat it on the beach so if you haven't seen my video from last week go check it out but this morning we just decided to kind of hang out here in the morning and now we're going to go head on and start our day and show you some great attractions around jacksonville beach area our first stop here today is the tree hill nature center now here they have some animals like goats that you can actually feed for a dollar but there's also a bunch of little trails that are about a third of a mile long each i think there's about seven of them they have some butterfly gardens and there's a nature center at the beginning that has a bunch of turtles and just information about Florida's wildlife in general. Nature Center. It was a beautiful place. Lots of pretty things to look at and good animals to see. Um, and now we are going to head over to the Friendship Fountain. <laughs> so come on. So we made it to Friendship Fountain. Unfortunately, because it's the middle of the week and also the middle of the day, there's not much going on here. But it is a really pretty place for us to take a second and get a snack. And there's also a beautiful view of the bay and marine. When the fountain was built in 1956, it was actually the largest fountain in the area. And the spout that goes up the highest can go up to 30 meters. So it's a very tall fountain when it's operating at full strength, but obviously right now it's not doing that. But it's still a beautiful place to come check out. Our first attempt today was to go to Fort Caroline, which is a little bit north of the Jacksonville area, um, but unfortunately that's closed right now, not open. So then we decided we would come to Little Talbot Island, which is a Florida State Park and it's actually ranked one of the best state parks. So we were super excited for that. Um, we got to the park at 3.30 and the park closes at 5. And I would say it started raining at about 328 and it hasn't stopped yet. <laughs> and it just started lightning and thundering. So fortunately drove all the way here, got in, but don't think we're gonna be able to see much of it, if anything at all. see it was a beautiful beach unfortunately can't really stay here that much longer because the park closes soon and I wish I had another day to explore it but I don't so maybe another time I'll come back to Little Talbot Island
It was built in the 1850s and played an active part in both the Civil and Spanish-American Wars. Port Clinton is a beautiful place to come explore. Although it's a little bit far from Jacksonville, it's in Amelia Island, which is known to be one of the most beautiful parts of Florida, especially Northern Florida, with tons of beautiful beaches. And here, one of these is even Georgia, so you're at the tip of Florida. <laughs> walk outside of the fort and take the path on the left that's kind of in the grass and a little bit sandy you come to this beautiful beach area where you can see the fort from the outside. at the perfect time. Right as we were walking down, a fisherman caught a mini little baby bonnethead shark, and so I was able to hold his line for him when he went and got his pliers so he could release her back into the ocean. What'd you find? I found a whelk, look at this. Hold it up to the camera. Turn around. A little knobby on the one side, but wow. it's beautiful. Good find. we decided to do the Willow Creek Trail, which is a pretty short walk, about 25 minutes, and you come across these ponds that are this wicked green color. They're crazy looking, and it looks almost like you could just walk right on it. Uh, but you can't because there could be alligators in there, so they tell you not to go in there. <laughs> but now we've come to the Amelia Island Lighthouse Lookout, so over my shoulder you can see the lighthouse. birds and stuff like that um so just come down and give it a look because there's pretty much almost always dolphin every single day we've been here so far we've seen dolphin out in the ocean so the best time i think to come down is either at sunrise or sunset because it's a lot cooler there's a lot less people and there's often dolphins 